about making it simple and easy and fun in the kitchen and that's what Holstein's all about and you can see right here we already just revealed some pies and you know the, the regular pies will come out this way we always like to show you how you can be a little more creative and make them just as beautiful but easier than if you had to make them from scratch in the kitchen this pie maker warms up in two minutes two minutes and you get your first pies out in seven minutes mm -hmm. so in less time than it takes for your oven to actually warm up, you've already gotten two pies out and ready to be served. And that's what makes this so much fun. Look at this. I oh. have a quick question because to me, the smell yes. of this dough is just Oh, it's everything. It's amazing. What kind, what's your tip or trick for doughs? Okay, so you can buy store-bought, okay. um, which is pretty easy. It's in your frozen food section, yeah. and that's a lot of times what we what we are using on air. Mm -hmm. So when you see what I'm making, I'm simply getting it from the frozen food section. But we are including pie recipes for oh. you to make your own pie crust right in the manual that comes with the pie maker. Excellent. And you so, know what else we're including? Are these cute little boxes, these little pie yes. boxes? You're getting four of those. So if you want to give something special, a little homemade treat for or somebody on your list over the holidays, whether it's Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah or New Year's, that's just a nice way to be able to present them. But yes. I think it's great too because with these you make two yes. and that way if you want a sweet pie and I want a savory pie or the kids are looking for their special pies, you want to make a chicken pot pie, you can do whatever you'd like. That's right. You know, and that's, and nobody can ever agree. I mean, that's always the biggest and hardest thing at the holidays and if you are a family of a couple kids, you know, a couple family members, nobody ever likes the same all the time. So this is really great because they're personal size pies right, too. Right. So I like that it keeps, you know, for portion control, it makes it, you don't just sit down and realize, oh my goodness, I just ate half a pie all by myself. <laughs> you actually get your little own little baby pie. It makes presentation really wonderful at the holidays. Um, and this is how you fill them. You're just watching me do this. You put your um, bottom on the bottom and then you simply just take the tops and you place them right on just like this. And does then I'm going to show you. This? It does. It comes with the slice and the cutter. So the cutter is going to help you get just the perfect sizes. So when I place it on just like that, all I have to do, this is the hardest part. I always laugh and say, you close it, you lock it, close it and let it do its job. And as so, we're closing it, you can hear it sizzling. It's going you to You can work. actually. Yeah. So it beeps when it's done? No. Or you just so keep checking it? Seven minutes. So you're just going to kind of keep in mind about seven minutes. They, and what's nice is if you do forget for a minute, it takes a lot to burn a pie. Okay. It really does. I mean, okay. so you're probably going to have to leave it in for like 20 minutes okay. like, to really burn this pie. So don't be nervous about that. But literally about, you know, I'd say five, six minutes in, start checking and kind of get it to the doneness that you prefer. Right. Some people want their pies a little lighter, some a little darker. I love this for um, a couple of reasons. Well, you guys do too, because you've made it a customer pick and you're more than welcome to read the reviews on hsn.com. But I love the idea that if you want something sweet and somebody else wants something savory, mm -hmm. or if you're just really trying to work on portion control. Yeah. This is like the perfect little sweet spot size because portion control is everything to try to stay on any kind of plan, whether it's healthy or whether it's just trying to back off on how much sugar you're taking oh, in, right? That. And then you get to control what ingredients go into whatever pies you're making, too. hundred percent. I'm really for that, too, because listen, pot pies, I just showed you two delicious looking pot pies. These are what I call the no food goes to waste pies, because Perfect. no matter is what left yes. over, we're going to have lots of turkey and ham and things yes. like that at the holidays. All of that can I go into wasting. pies, right? So veggies, whatever, you just put a little broth in it with our chicken broth we just uh with chicken uh pot pie we just use a little broth in it and with our beef we're just simply doing kind of like a beef um uh we do ground beef in ours but you could do a uh, regular steak and cut up your steak but like you said anything left over you know yeah like i just gr gr grilled some corn in the cob tonight but you know what it's not good left over on its own so i'll put it in like a chili or something like this there you <gasps> go that one looks so delicious doesn't that look good and my and favorite see, thing in the world is chicken pot pie oh my gosh and you guys it's with so easy to make look you could put your corn in here you could use some carrots some peas and we use kind of we use a broth with ours like a chicken broth like a chicken soup broth um, but we don't go super thick with it so if for people who can't have dairy you can still work with this um, for people who can't have gluten my husband's gluten free there you so go perfect I'm able example. to do pie crusts that are gluten free for him good for you because um, that can be really challenging it really Anna can. on Facebook is cracking me up straight now she said portion control you cannot control me around pie <laughs> <laughs> that is true, that is true. Yeah, yeah. and by the way uh, Lori I, my necklace is Heidi Doss you can check it out on hsn.com. Okay, so, so this little it, slicer cutter comes with it. So this comes with it. So I want to show you. So there's a bigger side and a smaller side. So the bigger side is the bottom of your pie. So you see how easy that just cut. And then this will be your um, top. So the top is always the smaller piece. So 
bigger piece, small is the bottom, smaller piece is the top. And when you place them inside, it's gonna crimp it automatically. So you don't have to worry about pressing around oh, or doing anything. Perfect, it's non-stick on the inside. By the way, yeah. you just choose black or red. We've got both colors available at a holiday price, too. And it's only $5.74 to get them home on FlexPay. Kids get involved in this. They have so much fun. Look at that morning quiche. Look at a that. nice little breakfast pie for you. Perfectly Beautifully done. browned on the bottom, beautifully browned on the top, even without a top half. If you're trying to back off on the carbs or the gluten, uh, you can definitely take more charge this way. Uh, and it's so, so great to have one of these because you can take these with you if you go on a big, big camping trip and go to the cabin or take it to, on a boat and make something really tasty. Oh, yeah. These pecan pies look so <gasps> delicious. So, you know, I'm going to make some more egg pies because this could be your breakfast, you know, run. But these pies, all you have to do is leave the top off. Take your same pecan, you know, pie recipe. Take your same pumpkin pie recipe that you've been using for years and just put the filling inside these little tiny guys. Yep. And you will be able to wow people because, listen, if you go to a bakery and buy something like that, uh, they're going to go, oh, my gosh, that's $5 a pie, uh, you know, least, or whatever yeah, to buy yeah. it. And, and down here here on the pumpkin pies, I just want to point this out. By the way, this is a little tip for the holidays. Oh, cute. You see those little, okay, those are made with cookie cutters. So we just take the pie crust. Oh. You cut them with cookie cutters. You bake cute. them separately on a pan. Cute. And then they come out like that and you put them right into your pie. So, <laughs> you're so cute. Right into your pie. Great, right into uh, your customer pie. pick, by the way, if you want to read some of the reviews of others who have made this purchase. Uh, there's 153 reviews. And that is pretty impressive. We also, by the way, have batter bottles. If you want to, you know, do you something uh, to help with making other kinds of tasty treats. We have cupcake makers with the cupcakes from Holstein. So a lot of things from the brand. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the brand, because I know they've got a real passion. Yes, well, Holstein, you know, all of our makers are always nonstick, um, which, I, you know, I'm a real big believer in if something's hard to clean, you are going to use it once, maybe twice, and you're going to be like, it's going to go into that back corner of your cabinet somewhere and hide, because nobody likes to use anything that's hard to clean. So nonstick top and bottom means as I take these pies out, which these are made with a biscuit uh, dough, by ah. the way, so let's hang on there. But Lotus, I just <laughs> took something out, and literally, I would, you know, I would let this cool a little bit, but even if there's like a little little something in there, uh -huh. you just literally wipe this down and it doesn't even look like I just took pies it out sure of doesn't. here. That's the kind of appliance that you're gonna use all the time, that you're gonna have a it's lot of fun with. $20 appliance, basically. It's really, really, right. I mean, normally it's 30. And by the way, Anthony, I see you watching us on Facebook. Thanks for joining us and being there. I'm about um, to blow your mind. Sheila's asking on Facebook how long for it to cook. Uh, so seven minutes. Okay. So um, <laughs> this is our pizza pie. Oh. Okay. So this is a, a biscuit. This is a biscuit dough. Yes, absolutely. And so you saw what happened there. I'm going to cut into this guy too because Come I just really want you guys to mama. see this. Okay. So think about all of those frozen, like I showed you the egg. Oh my gosh, you guys, please. Come on. Come on. I know it's 1247, but this is the kind of snack I kind of go for oh, this time goodness. of night. So this is going to be preservative free. Yum. It's going to be um, junky meat free, junky cheese free. Isn't the worst, like if you buy something and like you get a piece, it's a pepper. It's supposed to be pepperoni or sausage, but you bite into it and you go, that's not pepperoni or sausage. <laughs> like, it doesn't taste like that what at all. Is. And that's how it is with pot pies, and that's how it is with these, um, you know, pizza things. And if you get egg sandwiches, it, it is doesn't horrifying taste to real. me how many prepackaged products have so much sodium, so much sugar, so many preservatives, things you can't even pronounce. I feel better knowing my long-term health is at stake here. If I'm going to go sure. cheap now, I'm going to pay the price later with my overall health. But when I can control the sodium and control whatever you know my preferences are, or if there's dietary restrictions in my family with different members. You, you've got it. And pies could not be made easier like than this. And so many of you are loving on Facebook. Everyone love that pizza pie oh, demo with the biscuit. Goodness. Did you? So you just mix the biscuit. The biscuit. So you mix. you'll lay the biscuit. Yeah, you make the biscuit mix. Uh huh. Okay, and then you, so it'll get to that. It, it's kind of like the pie crust. It'll get to yep. the pie crust. Okay. So then you'll just kind of work it around and okay. just put it into the hole. And then you'll put whatever you want in there. Uh, your sauce, your cheese, your pepperoni, whatever you want. Then you just put the top on the same way we've been doing the pies the entire time and they will bake beautifully. Now, if anything over bakes, here's what I love about this because okay. we're going to go back now and look at some stuff here. So oh. here, I'm just going to go. Um, and let's see how we're doing. These pies got started. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one for an extra minute, but I want you to look at this guy over here. These pies started at the top of this presentation, right? And look at how there's a little edge sitting there. Watch what happens. Oh, yeah. Boop, right off. Yeah. Perfect pie right here Actually, once again. 
ready to go. Christopher's saying that on Facebook. I love, I love how it has room around the pie so if the pie overflows, it doesn't run down the side. Put it out. So that's oh, perfect timing oh, oh. on what you now, just showed us. Now, I personally would let that go a little longer. To me, that's a little still soft. And I want to explain this because whenever this happens, I want to show you. That, oh, that's cherry peel pie. That was, uh, that was my, I think it was my blueberry that I put in there. Okay. I didn't fill it enough. My mistake. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to call this out. And this is what's going to happen. If this happens to you, this means you didn't fill it high enough because you see how it goes up high. It's like a little dome up here. It has to hit up on the top. And I move very fast here, so sometimes this well, happens to me. But if it happens to you at home, that's all it means. You just need to make sure you fill your pies a little higher so they hit the top good, of the dome. Good tip. Yeah. You get four of these little cute little pizza Look boxes that. to be able to deliver as a little we homemade treat. <laughs> so imagine bringing that to the party or to cute. your friend. Isn't cute. that cute? And Christopher, I don't know how long this holiday price lasts. It's probably until they sell out, which happens constantly. $22.95 is a price break for holiday because this is, first of all, a great gift. A nice, again, $20 price point. This is a pretty, a pretty remarkable gift, but it's also really fun to get involved. Maybe you like lay out the whole like line at the oh, kitchen yeah. table or the counter and have everybody fill their own pie and then just make Love one it. at a time or actually two at a time. Yeah. And if you want to get a couple <laughs> of these, you can make four at a time. Exactly. These are fun parties to have too. So my friend Crystal, who works here, and I love her, she she bought three of these. Yeah. She makes all of the desserts for her Crystal? family. Crystal. Yes, I love her. So she's a makeup artist. She's hilarious. She comes she and sees me. She goes, Carrie, I made like 20 pies for the, we all got together. She makes spinach pies. That's her favorite thing. Perfect. So that sounds she was, so good. It's like a, you know what else you can do in these? They're like little mini meatloafs. Different yeah. things like that. It doesn't always have to be pies. Correct. Get creative. Anything that way. It cooks top and bottom. So pretty much anything you put in here is going to cook. Yeah, so have fun with this. mini meatloaf. Ah, oh, how great. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was fun. You guys are loving it. Thanks for your orders. Uh, the item is 623563. I'm going to make my way back to the other studio again. My friend <laughs> Rebecca Wood is standing by with a beautiful...